I tried to be a little fancy for you guys today, but not working out. Really? Okay, the bun is back. So I can learn how to love. Welcome back to my channel guys if you haven't been here before my name is Danielle obviously by the name of my channel and today I'm just gonna do like DIY not how to make a whiteboard but one was already hanging in my room but I didn't like how it looked it looks like boring and then I got this one for Marcus's room so I can put down what he needs to do you know his spells and stuff that he doesn't do anyway but hopefully the border will help. So, this was from Target actually. I'll I'll write the cost on there. I can't remember because I got it, I think last year. So I went to Kmart to get a few things. I got some PVA glue, that was $2. Oh, look how cheap these are. These are $3. I might go get more. <laughs> this was $4, the double-sided tape just to make my life a bit easier. This flat ribbon, this was $3. Castle trim, that was $4. The whiteboard that I bought for Marcus, I got that from his $2 stores. So his one was $6.99. These little pink ones, just to decorate, they were $2.50. Really cheap, really affordable, and let's get into this. I haven't actually planned in my head how I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna wing it. Okay. Oh my gosh, what if this isn't even long enough? I didn't even think of that. <gasps> it's not gonna be long enough. Frick. Oh, <gasps> guys. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. And I'm just going to glue it across the top. So we're just going to measure where it hits off. Okay, now that we've got like that start of it, I'm going to glue that down to the top of the board. Remove stopper, open close. How do you remove the stopper? <laughs> this is all part of the plan, guys. <laughs> if it's like eyelashes, you have to wait till it's tacky. So. Okay, so I'm just going to measure this. Okay, this part is really thin, so uh, I'm just going to do it in half and see what happens. Kind of like... Down. So yeah, just continue to do that on each side. Oh, this is so satisfying when you take off the white bit. So there we have it guys. The first boring board is now Look all that right now. It will. Okay. This tape just saved the day. I don't know if I want to cut these and stick it on the wall, like around the board, because then I won't have space to actually write on the board. But we'll take this off. I'm sorry, I hate when people leave this on, like the ribbon. I I cannot handle it. <laughs> oh my gosh, like. 
like it looks like you're walking down the aisle. Like, take it off. Oh, I might actually stick them on the wall. I do like these little leaves. I could just like put them here or something. Okay, we're gonna glue that down. I'm, you know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So yeah, I've just done three at the back. Okay, now we're gonna stick this baby down. So place the leaves where you want them to obviously go. And there you have it. I've got a little tassel board with a leaf at the bottom. I think that looks quite cute. And so you, because I'm putting these in his room, that's why I want the whole brown kind of thing to go. what <laughs> the one from target comes with like a little hook on the side to attach the pen to and i was thinking it was the same but it's actually sticky tape on. <laughs> you're good dollar store you're good you got me i honestly think everyone should have one of these in their room even if it's just like, don't go to the pokies this week, you have to pay your phone bill. You know, just things like that, that you can write down. Before in my room, I used to do <clears throat> like a chart for Marcus. Um, and it'll have like washing, dishes, rubbish, vacuum and all that stuff. And if he like does one of them, that's $5 for his lunch. Like I used to just give him like a certain amount every week and you know bob's your uncle but then i realized no mm -mm. you have to work for it if you don't know marcus is junior's nephew uh so junior's cousin birthed him <laughs> i didn't know how to explain that so a lot of people think that he's mine but he's not <laughs> i'm just going to make him a board so that he can write whatever he needs to write to remind himself maybe his chores on here too so he can keep track and like write down how much he has earned for his lunch i want him to write his goals down and stuff like that so i asked him to the other time i go to him and junior think about what you want in life and then i want you guys to write down your goals come to Friday and they haven't written nothing so it doesn't look that different to what it did but I like this better than the light brown that was on it before and then I'm gonna hang like these on the side of it so that it all goes together yeah so that's what it looks like on the wall I took the flower away from here because I wanted to put them on the actual wall but yeah I don't know if it goes but we'll see. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do with it. It looks way better than it did before. And goes more with the just love part. I, I put it so high so you can't reach it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go look at Marcus's. Uh, so this is the one in Marcus's room. I just hung the two little things on the side. And then his whiteboard. And then that one's kind of like a pen holder. So I'm just gonna put the textures in there that he can write like his stuff on. It's just over his bed. <laughs> Stop. Um, but yeah, it's a bit plain still. I have something that I wanna put on top, but Junior threw it in the bin by accident, of course. But yeah. That's pretty much so it. So that's how I personalize the whiteboards in our rooms. I'm not too happy with Marcus's one. I will be changing it. I just need to add, I don't know. I did paint a dream, like the word dream. I painted it black and it was meant to go on top of it so it all ties together. But for some odd reason, like, oh, I, I, I'm actually really mad. <laughs> but for some odd reason, Junior threw it in the bin. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, if you have any other suggestions, please leave them down below. Like I said, I really do like to see your guys' comments. I hope to see you next time. Bye. So I can learn how to love.